Bird Billy here. Hey, I just want to get a quick review up on my DeWalt uh, MIG 12 ounce hammer. Um, I picked one of these up about a month ago. I've been fighting some problems in my arm. Um, I had an accident and I fell, and I'll cover that another time. But basically, my right arm was messed up, and um, I was trying to do light duty at work for a while. I had a siding job I had to knock out. It's winter up here in Cleveland, and um, I misplaced my crash and rip hammer and I'm like oh man I need to get another hammer so I was up there um, I played around with a couple of the hammers to kind of get a feel for it um, I'll tell you I, I, if you're in the market for hammers there's a couple out there that are pretty nice I, I, that I liked but I started playing with this one and this thing's amazing it's uh, DeWalt came up with a uh, concept they call it their MIG 12 ounce um, I've already seen some knockoffs of it but uh, they knocked basically eight ounces off of a hammer, but it has the same striking force as a 20 ounce. And that's what they say. Okay, so that's what they say. I've been playing around with this hammer. I can tell you, this thing hits. I, I, I like it. Um, and their framing hammer, if I was doing a lot of framing, I, I, I tend to do most of that with my, my air gun. Um, I do have a regular framing hammer. I think the framing hammer is almost half the weight. It's a huge noticeable difference there. If you're in the market for a framing hammer, take a look at the DeWalt uh, framing hammer, the, uh, their MIG one as well. But anyways, getting back to review of this. So, I, you know, when you look at it at first glance, it looks, the angle here, I thought, I was like, man, they, they really should have gone more straight, made it more of a rip instead of the claw. Here, I found my Craftsman 20 ounce rip, which I've been using this thing for years. Love it. It's a beast. Hammer's a hammer, but it's got pretty decent balance, um, and it's served me well for years. You look at the angle there, and I'm going to lay this one up against it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's actually the same angle. The reason why this looks more like a claw is they've removed a lot of the meat out of there. And then what they've done, you can see between like the two hammers here, I'm gonna try and come in as close as I can here. Um, you can see where they cut meat out right in this area here. And then on the on the actual stem part of the hammer right here, this is thinner. And then they went ahead and they like grooved out inside here to remove even more meat. So I mean, I can see where they pulled the weight out of it. But it's, it's all to me when you're using a hammer and you're using something for uh, on a daily basis, it's the quality is what matters. I mean, the balance. You want something that's balanced. You can pick up a husky hammer for five dollars or whatever, but it, it hits like a brick. Um, this thing is just they've, as far as I'm concerned, they knocked it out of the park with this. I, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, and I, you know, I like I said, it, it just I got it because my elbow was messed up, and I've, uh, I, you know, I've. It's a complaint guys who use hammers a lot have. You know, they got, if you know, they'll get tennis up anyways. Mine was an injury that, you know, I think messed up the tendon or something in there. But, uh, anyways, I, I just wanted to get this up there and put it out there. It's a little bit more expensive than your normal hammer, but if you're in the market for a hammer, you're looking for a great hammer, look at these DeWalt MIG hammers. Um, I, I think, I have not had the experience yet with a framer, but just playing around with it in the store. I can tell you this thing hits just like this one does with a lot less weight and a lot less wear and tear on my arm um, when, when I'm using it. Another thing, um, this one here, your typical standard hammer, a lot of them don't put those uh, the, the starter nail set in there. Now, most people won't need to use this, but there are times when it's needed if you're like doing siding and stuff. This one's got it. It's got the little indentation right up top here for your nail head to go in there and I actually first day I used the hammer I was doing a siding repair I was uh, two stories up and the wind had picked up and I was in between two buildings I had a guy holding the ladder at the bottom but I, I wanted as little time on that ladder as possible I was trying to get the job done get out you know we, we I, where we're at now one day it can be 45 here in Cleveland the next day it can be freaking negative 10 it's, it's all over the place and so when you get a clear day you get your work done and then you know you see what happens tomorrow <laughs> But, so I was trying to get the job done, and, you know, you, you got to watch when you're a ladder, your reach. Um, I was able to stick a nail in there, and sometimes it takes one or two tries to get it, but, you know, I was putting siding up, put the roofing nail in there. 
kind of got it set, smacked it, and it set. It was nice. It, it, I was able to set it on one hand with it. It worked well. Um, I will. Uh, so, anyways, I, I I give this two thumbs up. If you guys are looking for a hammer, I don't want to drag this on and on, but uh, definitely, definitely, definitely take a look at this Dewalt. It's the 12 ounce Dewalt uh, Mig Hammer. Um, definitely Burbilly approved. Love this thing.